Welcome to another episode of Enforcer and the Dude Tech Talk. Now, we're really going to step it up a little bit here. Paul, you've organised our first road test. Yeah, I thought the, the Stinger would be cool because it's a cool car and to market this car, it should be raced in supercar racing and I don't see why not. Well, I've never really actually had a good look at the, the Stinger close up, so I'm really interested myself to actually have a look over it. I haven't seen it close up. Um, Kia have lent us this car. We've actually asked for it. This is not sponsored by the way. No money been changed hands. We actually wanted to have a look at this thing. because It's not an advertorial. It's, we're, no, we're, it's not an advert, no. Yeah. Th this, this is a couple of blokes that can drive doing a car test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not like others. As opposed to it. Yeah, yeah, we actually know how to drive. <laughs> uh, so a totally independent review of this thing. And, and like Paul said, geez, I tell you what, from the look so far, it should be in supercars. It's, it's got all the right looks. And... Uh, Brembo brakes. Brembo the brake standard. So it's a, a V6, a twin turbo, 3.3 uh -huh. litre V6, 272 kilowatts, 510 newton metres of torque. It's a cool roadie, mate. Nor do, nor do, nor do 104.9. Let's give it a whip. It's, uh, it's pretty Let's whip sharp. whip the thing, mate. No, no, it looks good. Hey, styling looks good. I mean, it looks, it almost looks a little bit I, I just know. want to drive it, Russ. A little bit Corvette. Oh, let me <laughs> let me take it all in, Paul. Let me take it in. I reckon it's a cool looking thing. I've never really looked at one close up. It's never been on the radar. Um, you've, all, you've always been a guy that likes to look blingy and flashy and likes cool looking stuff. Yeah, it's... Continental tyres. Don't go much for the yellow, I've got to tell I you. I like that yellow. You like it? Yeah. Seriously, Paul. Yeah. Getting soft in your old age. So yeah. we've got driving modes here. Why don't right. we just go straight into sport? Oh, Whacker in sport, definitely. We're at a racetrack, mate. Sport, paddle shift, and yep. this is what I like about this car. Yeah. Turn everything off. Turn, the, turn off. the driving aids off. Uh, you don't need driving aids. Yeah. So traction stability control yep. is disabled. Perfect. Put it back in the driver's hands. Yep. But for everyday road driving, yep. turn it on. 510 newton metres, mate. Take it easy. Don't let it get away from you. You going to be all right? Yeah, I'll be all right, mate. Okay. Let's go. It's actually nice. Good uh, fin finishes. It's actually quite. It's quite tight in here. Feels a little bit Europeanish, you know, like it's got that sort of tunnel feel. I feel like I'm sitting in the Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. A long bonnet. It, about the same price point. Yeah. As a Mustang. Cheaper than a Camaro. Cheaper than the Camaro. There you go, mate. There's that. Wow. And if you're in the turbos, I'll tell you what. I'm already <laughs> up to 120 <laughs> before we even got going there. That's got a bit of grunt. Plenty of good braking, turns yeah. on the brake. My acceleration's pretty hard. Let's see what happens here. So what's a good top speed around here for end of the straight? Oh, 180, 190. Oh, <laughs> hang on to it. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Just two up, brakes are good. Brakes are good, power's there when you need yeah. it. I think that's a good thing about the twin turbo, you don't have that turbo lag. So you get that linear power from the twin turbos. Yep. No lag? No lag, no mate. Lag. She's there. Quite deceiving. Yep. Still that little bit of normal yeah, road car. Yeah, a little know. bit of understeer just to make it safe. That's the inherent yeah. understeer yeah. that manufacturers always put in, isn't it? Yeah, but it... All right. If you want to have some fun, you can always just press the loud pedal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice cool slide at a cool 130 kilometres an hour. <laughs> I don't see too many car testers doing that, mate. Oh, just that's that's good. I don't it, the... it hangs on to it well. Yeah, I like it, mate. I like it. I like it. Uh, power's linear, turns in, does what you want to, great brakes, looks good. Yep. They've come a long way with turbo cars because they always had that inherent lag. Little That's lag, you didn't have normally that Normally aspirated torque. always had it all over it. But uh, That's got V8 it? punch, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. sort of get to that mid-range and it's got a, it's even got a little bit of a roar to it. If you were a HSV guy that liked his Commodores, yep. why wouldn't you look at this? Yeah, spot on. I know it takes you, it takes your head of getting around that it hasn't got the exhaust note, the roar of a V8. Forget that. If you just look at it on per, pure performance, yeah. pretty good. And I could drive this on the road yeah. and then watch it being raced on Sunday. Yeah. 
I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> there you go, there's some power for you, Russ. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Pretty good, eh? Well, you need, and you need grunt, you need torque to do yeah, that sort of you, thing. That thing's turning the tyre at 80, 90 kilometres an hour. We don't recommend you do that on the road, mind you, but can no, I have a go? that's why we're here. Yeah, you can have a go. Can have a go? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, that's good. Cool. I'll just call the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's swap over, dude. Give me a stare. Uh, now this is, now I'm, I'm going, uh, oh, electric steering. Look at that. Adjustable okay. steering column. Yep. Yeah, electric adjustable steering column. The seat good. I mean, a lot of that stuff you don't find in $100,000 European cars. Really? I mean, everything's everything's nice, bit of metal in there. So I'll do the, I'll do the sensible driving now, Paul. Okay. All right, okay. okay you did the hardcore stuff, I'll just do the everyday. So what's it like to drive normally? Because we don't want to be one of those bloody pretender car testers that all they do is go sideways like Top Gear, but you want to, you want to notice a little bit about it, what it drives like in a normal drive car. And it's nice, like it does everything right, so it's comfortable. Turns it on the brake. Yeah. Yeah, the steering's nice and light, I'm getting a bit of response back from it. I, I gotta tell you, I, auto changes, how smooth is the auto change? Oh, you're in just D. I'm just in D. Yeah, so it's more, more, so more. I'm just driving it normal. So okay, this cool. is everyday driving, you know, your 110 kilometres down the highway. You gotta always have a look at both aspects. If you're driving yeah, normal. If you're doing a tractor. Yeah, 60, <laughs> 60 to 110 kilometres, that's nice. Like it just drives nice, feels good. Um, yeah, I can't. Um, I can't fold the thing. The auto is super smooth, like just really, really nice. Uh, steering feedback, man, it's, it's head height is like okay. Oh, yeah. Like I'm a big guy, yeah, I'm, I'm not claustrophobic. I wouldn't want to be too much taller. Yeah, yeah, give it a rip, mate. Jeez, you're good, Russ. You're going off. Oh, oh, hang on to it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty that was good. good fun too. <laughs> but the power's on tap when you want it. Oh mate, you, you know the throttle. Bang. That's M3-ish. Yeah. It's mate, so good. I'm impressed. Why isn't this in supercars? Well, if I'm Kia and I want to market this car and show people how cool it is, race the thing. Mate, the race it, go and do the bath of six hour. Just show some people like the police have got them, okay? Yeah, they got them for yeah. a reason because they they're quick. Yeah, Bathurst six hour. Perfect. Bathurst six hour. Why like, why <laughs> aren't people buying this car? Why aren't people buying it? Well, they it doesn't have the pedigree as yeah. a sports car, does it? See, so your badge buyers yeah. turn their nose up at the whole they don't three letter. They, yeah, the, the no people no. who are marketing this car are doing a shit job of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. They, maybe they should bring it to us to market. Maybe. Well, I think this is going to be the best marketing for it. You know, by country mark. Do you want to go around the skip pan for a bit? Yeah, yeah let's give it a rip on yeah. the pan. Yeah. yeah this will be a good test for it, actually. Turbo cars are hard to drift. That's linear power there, mate. That's nice linear power. Have you been practicing this? You've been sneaking I'm out here, bro. <laughs> you've, been, you've been out here when I've been That's all right for a turbo car, mate. <laughs> well, that's good. Let's race it. All right, that <laughs> is impressive. Let's get out and take a final look. All right. All right, I'll tell you what. It's a cool car, man. Would you buy one? Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd, def one. I'd definitely buy one. And what are they, 60K retail? With and who wouldn't buy one? No, I reckon. And if you if you got that in the car park and you're at the supercar race and you're sitting on the hill, you're yeah. going to cheer for it. Yeah. I wouldn't you're be going embarrassed to cheer. driving that. No? Don't matter what badge is in it. I reckon yeah. it looks cool. Looks great, mate. They've just got to get their heads around it, get it on the racetrack and it'll, it'll look good. 
nine out of ten. Now I've driven a lot of cars, mate. Like I yeah. get to drive everything that comes out on the market, yep. and that that is dead set line ball with the BMW, yep. with a Mustang. Like for price point, it's yep. it's a it's a cool car, and I want to see it on the racetrack. Well, there you go, Kia Stinger, nine out of ten for the car. Two out of ten for their marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty well. It is, but, but it is a cool car. Yeah. It is a cool car. <laughs>